Welcome back guys to episode 4 of the tutorial on Master Plus. Um, we're going to be talking about break building on Master Plus now, which is, let's be honest, it's very, very difficult. Um, there's a lot of people that I play against that um, that have massive breaks, you know. Um, I know there's a few, Captain Goodsby for example, he plays the Master, not Master Plus, but he plays Master on his season. And um, he, made a, he made a 155 following a free ball. Um, which was a fantastic break and he potted some really really key balls in that which got him out of trouble a little bit and um, led to a fantastic break so go and check that go, go, out guys on his channel his, his link is in my description below um, and he's got hundreds of playlists there to look at um, pays, pays a lot of attention to Snooker 19 um, again another one who's had a 147 on Master Plus is uh, Rainy Lamb obviously um, J Page Martin they both play in our Discord um, I haven't had that luck yet. <laughs> the closest I've got on Master Plus, I think, is 13 reds and 13 blacks, um, which again isn't bad. Um, and it, it shows break buildings available, but generally, if you can make sort of 70 or 80, you're doing really, really well. Um, so, we're going to have a look at this one, guys. Um, our opponents made a shocking break. That's actually a lie, set it up like this. Um, but it's just to give you an idea of what I think about and my thought processes and how I deal with certain things and 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 I, I mean sometimes I'm just useless and it's just it's just not a good day. But generally, it's about keeping yourself in a position where you don't have to limit yourself to one ball, as in reds. Colors, there's other options, but you need to be um, thinking about that as you're doing it. Now my first thought here guys is that the pink may not spot. So if the pink is potted, the chances are it'll go in the black spot if we haven't already potted the black. Or equally, it'll be just tucked in there behind the pack there. So I'm conscious of that and I'm wary of it. Um, and if I can get away with not playing the pink, I will until I get that black spotted. Um, or even if I've already split the reds. But we'll see how we get on. So my first choice guys in this um in this setup is is they're not great don't get me wrong there's only one really red option that is one but i mean the white's coming off there at a right angle and it's, it's going up towards the center of the table and you just you'd have to guarantee missing this red and which you can't really do and if you do miss it it's going into no man's land so what we need to do is think about taking this one and by taking this one we what you want to do is almost play a dead weight by playing it dead weight, the white will just trickle through and hopefully be almost straight on the blue. Failing that, if it rolls too far forward, we've got the green into the green pocket, um, which leaves these two reds, which I'm closest to on the right. So let's try and roll this one in, guys. Yeah, it's too much of an angle. So we've actually rolled a little bit, f little bit further forward than I wanted to for the blue. Now we could just play the blue and the red, the white will roll towards those two reds just to the right of the blue as you're looking at it with a look to go past them slightly to then pop this red in the corner. However, if you do that, you need to guarantee missing those two reds. We'll certainly miss the one on the left, but there's a strong possibility you'll hit the one on the right. So for me, the obvious choice here now, guys, is just to roll the green in. By rolling the green in, you leave yourself a straight red almost into the black pocket down here on the right hand side um, a little bit further forward than I wanted to be really um, the reason why I say that is is because now we're sending the white off this red towards the pink um, at plain ball and it's a little bit more of a tougher shot um, you only have to touch that near jaw and the red's not going to go in um, so let's just make sure we try and get this red in I have missed before on these tutorials guys but if we do we can take it again it's not, not, not a problem um, again we got almost half a table here and I said didn't I in a previous video that if you're at sort of 52, 51% you're almost going to hold the white where it is that would be fine if this was a straight shot now, because this isn't a straight shot um I'd be tempted to put some bottom on it and drag it across the right side as, as you look with a look to come off the side cushion and either play the blue into the middle or the pink into the corner which I didn't really want to do um, 
failing that, what we could do is we could play it dead weight at playing ball. Um, so remember that line is stopped going forward now, but my power is going up. So that means that I would suggest at 19 sort of 20 at playing ball that that will drop. What I want to do here, guys, I'm trying to look to run into the red just to the right of it to then play the blue in the opposite corner. It's a little bit dangerous because if we miss it, we could end up behind it and snookered. So we'll give it a go. Which is exactly what we've done. That's exactly what we've done. And that is what we didn't want to do. Now, if I'd have played that firmer, that would have hit it in the face and we'd have been playing the blue. Now, the issue that I have now, guys, is that I've got either a very, very tough brown to continue the break or I've got a tough pink. Now, if I was playing in a Discord match now, depending on who I was playing against, I think I would go brown. Um, I'm not confident in this at all. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to get this. Yeah, see, when it looks at that angle, I don't always feel that it's going to go in. Now, playing this at 43%, the playing ball, the, the white was going to go right. It may just come off the bolt cushion and hit the green, um, which is what we don't want to do. What we want to do is for it to come back off the bolt cushion between where the brown and green is and leave this red down here. So we're going to try this um, and see how we get on. I think it's going to miss, guys, but generally this is this is this is what you're left with. Um, we've actually made it. Now, when I said earlier that I like to see leave myself options, at the moment I don't have this luxury, and the reason why I don't have this luxury is because of the poor position or shot I played to try and get onto the blue, which was a result of it, we had to play the brown. Now, there's two ways we can play this. We can play this with loads of bottom with a look to play with an element of safety, so it comes towards the pink and then goes down the table to the yellow, green and brown. Or we can go full hog if we're confident the pot in the red, which I'm not 100%, but um, we could put loads of top on it. The white will go into the pack and push through them all off the top cushion, send reds everywhere, and hopefully we'll be push, put in a position where we can take colour. Now I'm going to try that shot, but it is a little bit of luck, um, which sometimes you have to play. Um, so we're going to give this a try. We might miss, but we'll have a go. Again, it did exactly what I said, only it didn't push through them as much as I wanted it to. So, guys, we are chasing the white. Now, when you're chasing the white and you split them the way you have like this, it means making a safety shot is so, so difficult. It's almost impossible. Um, so... We're only really left with a green to be to you know to give us a fair shot of potting. I'm not worried about getting on a red because there's reds available everywhere. We'd have to be touching another ball really to be that unfortunate that we can't pot a red. So we're gonna try and pot this green, guys. I ain't so sure it's gonna work, but we'll give it a, certainly give it a go. Um right into the heart of the pocket as joe would say now we're, we're sort of back in the mix a little bit and we've sort of stopped the rot and we've stopped it so that we've we've we're giving ourselves plenty of plenty of chances and choices now so we need to be sensible about what we pick and what we go for um 
I'm going to sort of choose this one um, with a look to just roll it in gently because um, it'll either leave a long blue or a long pink possibly a pink to the middle depending on how far we go down the table so we're going to just roll this one in at dead weight remember that the lines fulfilled so it will drop now but we need to be accurate on our power see a nice little roll up and hold up to that blue which is helpful now we've got two options you've got a long blue or a sh almost straight pink now I'm going to choose the straight pink because what it'll do is it'll spot it and then we've got the red into this corner same corner pocket we just put that red into and now we've got a chain of events now we've got a chain of, of a list of pockets where we can go um, at this close um, I would suggest full bottom would only be sort of 32 33 to just almost hold it and if anything it'll draw it back just a smidge because of the angle the white's going to go away from the pink spot so what we could do is we could just play it plain ball and just drop it in because the chances are the pink won't cover the red so we'll try that do you see what i mean about the white just moved out to the left slightly it means that that red's on and just to roll it in needs either a long blue or again a pink to the middle so we're just going to drop that one in again guys 16 percent try and stay off the side cushions if you can because if, if you're going on the side cushions or the top cushion um you're leaving yourself open then to not put in the right cue action on it um to be able to to play your next shot now this is a little bit more difficult but we're going to play the same shot again we're going to roll through to leave the red closest to the white just here on the right hand side into this again the same corner pocket because the white will move right off this line um we just have to get the power right so rolling it at a 15 we're going to have just a couple more percent just to move it out a little bit it has got top on it so the white will travel a little bit further than it normally would yeah so we're still good guys we're still good in prime position now to run in a reasonable break now this one is a little bit more difficult in the fact that i'm going to put top on it because i want it to react a little bit more off the cushion, top cushion i don't want to get stuck on the top cushion so playing it dead weight like that chances are the white will possibly bounce off slightly but we want it a little bit higher at the table so i'm going to add about four or five percent on and then hopefully the white comes out enough to then play the pink again into the same middle pocket um there you go guys just that little bit of percentage it helps um so now we have a look round. we know that that red goes we know that that red goes and we know that the red by the corner pocket goes so there's three reds there that we would be really really unfortunate on if we weren't to get on one of them based on the fact that this pink's almost straight so if we play this with bottom again i'm thinking 32 percent to hold it or just to drag it back a little bit if we mess this up and don't get on those three we have the red down there by the yellow um which is a tough shot but it's a get a jail card really it's it helps so we'll try it at 32 whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll, I'll just show you what happened there guys i'll just show you what happened there guys i ain't so sure if you're aware of it um but there's a bug with um the spin on the ball because obviously i put the spin at it very very early into the into the into the shot whilst i was talking you through that and whilst i was talking through through to it and i sort of moved over to here have you do you see that the, the, there it just done it absolutely that's what happened so I'll, I'll try that again guys i'll put the bottom on it you can see the bottom on the ball now when i was talking through my options said if we don't fall on one of those three to the right we can get the one near the yellow if i move my cue now to the left effectively you're raising the butt of the cue because it's going onto the top cushion and it's not in the pocket gap so watch the watch the bottoms the bottom spin change so you drag it this way it's already going up and now it's on top spin what i didn't check before i played my shot was that it does that i i believe it's a bug because let's be honest that's on the cushion it should never have put top on that ball um i'm only i'm only recently aware of it guys so be aware when you're playing your shots that this is the last thing you check um the percentages are fine um then the white should react a whole different way now 
see it's just drew back a little bit um and it's it's given it's given us those two options you know we've got that red to go for we've got that red to go for we'd have had to play it at probably 34 percent to be able to go for that red by the corner pocket but we're, we're, it's not a disaster it's 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 absolutely fine um now what we're going to look here to do is we're look, look going to look to roll forward slightly and play a long blue next um so we're going to play it that's dead weight to drop it in 13 percent more than 14 um we just roll forward just a little bit so we're going to go 16 and it's too far it's too far so now we've got not a lot of control on the cue ball it's not a disaster because those two reds on the far left side of the table there they both go um so again you'd have to be really really unlucky um to not get on them um so i'd even contemplate taking a yellow here now um although blue is my preferred choice um i think we're going to try a blue i think we're going to try a blue um purely because i'm guessing with the top that it should hit that red just directly behind it um, which is what we want to do really because what we don't want to do is get end up stuck behind it so let's go with that there you go slightly more pace might have caused us an issue there because it hit the near jaw and it may well have wobbled um and that's not what, what we didn't want that we didn't want that at all so now what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get back on that pink for the middle pocket so this is just a natural shot to just roll through and then play the pink in the opposite middle um that's dead weight to go in because it's got top on it at 15 percent. you might think that's a long way but it should drop we'll play it with about 17 just to make sure and it hopefully gives a chance for the white to roll forward a bit more um there you go that's what we wanted all right guys, so we're already at 41 we put some high valuables although we took a couple of greens and a brown um again we're stuck on the cushion a little bit and it's not ideal so i would be tempted providing we can get enough bottom on the cue ball to draw this right back and i wouldn't be too worried about playing this aggressive because worst case scenario it's going to miss the pink and it's going to end up where it is now roughly so we have other options um so i would be our, i would be sort of tempted to put it at sort of half the table so 50 percent is going to hold it where it is you want it to miss the pink so you're going to want to put it at 74 don't be worried about it coming back to the top cushion because we've got a red by the yellow um and you know that should be fine because it's going to miss that that the red closest to it and allow us to pot the red by the yellow um which is an option um that red doesn't go well it probably would at dead pace but it would touch the near jaw first so you'd have to be really really accurate um so these are all covering each other and the only way to get on these now is to finish that side of the table so what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and do that in a couple of shots so we're going to go for this red and then look to just roll it in and finish this side of the blue angle dead weight right okay we, we got a little bit of an angle there so this is the angle we were talking about it's going to go left first so it should meet the side cushion now we got to hope that these three reds directly above the black spot all pass each other and they don't two of them don't go so now we're leaving ourselves in the position where we have only one red to get onto and for us to get onto it we need to be getting into this position or if anything we would need to roll past to be able to get into this position or this position the trouble is i think the angle might be so oh, it might be all right um we'll play with top 
that should reach the pocket based on the fact that we've got top on the ball but I don't know if it's far enough for it to get to that red so worst case scenario guys we can end up in a position where we have to play safe on our next shot but this is the thought process that I go through um, we'll play it 20 that's actually not bad that's actually not bad at all it's perfect um, so with top half length of the table 20% it worked nicely dead straight on the red which is good because we can draw it back and play a blue in the opposite corner and then roll through to play the red on the side cushion that's two options we could just play it with bottom um, at about 40 so what that'll do is it draw it off this side cushion and back out into the middle of the table to play the pink worst case scenario if we overshoot it we could play a blue into the middle um, that's my choice um, that's the, the route I'm going to go down um, let's see how we get on it's not too bad it's a bit low on the pink if anything I wanted to be a hell of a lot straighter um, the pink goes um, the natural angle is to be a finish above that red to play it down the side cushion um, so we're going to do that there is a theory guys that the, the, the white may go towards that middle pocket and to be honest I don't want John Virgo saying where's the white ball going um, so the, the safer option is to take yellow I mean think about it guys you're 53 points up um, and there's four reds left on the table following the next red um, which you're going to get if you put this yellow um, so we need one more red following that one unless we take a high colour so I'm going to pop the yellow and I'm going to do this purely because it's a safer option don't don't think playing the pink and all is fantastic yeah it's great you get a higher score don't win your frames especially if you miss um, you want the white ball momentum to go forward but what you don't want to be doing is sticking yourself to that side cushion because if you stick yourself to the side cushion you're then playing a red down the cushion and you're bringing the white into the middle of the table so you want to play it so that the white passes the yellow and it gives you a shot don't worry about the white sticking to the bolt cushion because the red's almost straight it shouldn't be a problem there you go it is it's almost straight now what we're going to look to do here guys is we're going to look to roll through try and go for the pink in the opposite middle or we're going to play a long blue now we only need that because we only need to get past 59 points to win the frame or at least to be in a position to win the frame so we need one more good pot here it's automatically top because it's so close to the cushion um, 20% I'll drop we want it at about 22, 23 to roll forward let's try that Sorry about that noise, guys, in the background. Now, the natural angle on the pink should put us towards the reds where we need to pop them, um, which is what we should really do, because not only do we guarantee the pot on the pink, it automatically puts us in a position where the frame's won. So, providing we get a bad positional shot, we're still in a position to win the frame. Um, we could play the blue, but they're all covering each other. So ideally what we need to do is we need to get the white behind the ear in this gap here, um, which is what we're gonna try and do. Um, so in my mind, it's almost a little bit of a stun shot, um, perhaps a little bit of bottom. But we need to make sure of the pink. We've got to make sure of the pink because that is the key ball. Now, I would suggest halfway between bottom but you need to make sure your power is right here I would suggest that around 45 ish may work worst case scenario I'm hoping it bounces off the side cushion so it leaves us the red closer to the corner so we're going to try that guys and we'll see how we get on wow that's perfect that's, how, that's it, exactly how I vision it but you got to be really accurate with your percentages and your powers um, so 
if we take this red with a look to roll forward for the pink it then it makes it a little more accessible when the black spots that's what we need to be thinking so not that it matters now because the frames won 15 just roll it through slightly now we've rolled too far really um because ideally i wanted the pink into the middle a similar angle to what we had last time or we could still go for that don't get me wrong that's not a difficult pink um and looking at the angle on the blue we might have not an option to put, but to play the pink okay so we're going to try a tough pink um now 30 ish we'll bring it back but we ideally we would just want the red just above the black spot next um so we'll go with 30. it's too much but it's dropped nicely onto that red and that's and that's part of the processing when you're thinking about your next shots um if I if I knew I was going to roll forward too much with anything, I needed to put less bottom on that, and it would have dragged forward more. It's give us two options; they're not easy. Um, that is one of the choices, but then you're running into no man's land for the color. Although a natural angle suggests you can get the pink into this corner. Um, this is a tough red. This, the minute that angle widens like that, it does become very very tough. Um, They're not easy, these cutbacks. And the white is going to go up and hopefully pot it in this left corner pocket. This could be breakover, guys. But remember, we're on 69 points with three reds off on the table. You've won the frame onto the next. No, it's okay. It's okay. And that's actually perfect on the pink. Um, and we know that the red above the black passes. And we know that the red below the black passes. So they all go now. They're all available. Um, now, we could just play this with a touch of bottom at sort of 57, even 65%. And it should just shoot to the left slightly and allow us to play the red above the black. That's the, book, that's the shot I'm going to be looking to play. Um, because it's almost straight, you have to hit it with a little bit more power to get it across the table. So we're going to play it at that much. Do you see what I mean? Could have actually played that at 80% and it would have moved to the right a little bit more. Now we're in a prime position, guys. Um, we just want to run this through. Now, that's probably not been thought out that well. Um, Partly because now, if I pot the black, the white's going away from the red. The last thing we want to be is here trying to cut that red in. So we've left ourselves a little bit of an issue here to try and get a ton. Um, we could play it dead weight and then play a really, really tough red, which I think is our only option. We could go Judd Trump style and try and pot the pink and blue and come round off two cushions and, and, and do it. But let's be fair, the frame's over. Um, you know, let's let's just get this black down. And we do want it dead weight as well. We really, really want it dead weight. So it's not a disaster. It's not a disaster. We're on for a It's a tough red though. Um it's a tough fan. Um But we'll give it a go. And now if you're playing this softly, there's a strong possibility that um the, the white should come off the top cushion and go the left side the left side of the black as you're looking at it now that's what we're hoping to achieve um i'm just doubting this angle um so we want it because of the angle it's going to come off at a low pace so 14 percent roughly is, is going to should come off the cushion enough to pot a color um that's a good good pot that so we're perfect um we don't want the black we want a momentum to run through for a yellow so we're going to do that 17 should run us past the blue enough don't worry if you're short now you might think oh you're not you know you're not far enough forward now where are you going to get across off the yellow back for the green it is going to be two cushions 
um, it is top generally on this percentage I'm around sort of 50% 52 if you really want to be sure you can go 53 and then it'll be sort of you'll be down here with a blue line um, which is what I do now what we don't want to do is roll forward and end up above the bolt line as you look at it so we want to put it all the way to the bottom we want it to draw back but we don't want it to go um, in a way which comes too far away and then it bounces off the side cushions a bit I'm really sorry about the noise in the background guys um, that's my crazy bird um, so we're gonna play it at about 40 to, to drag it back off the off the bottom and then give us the angle on the brain we might stick to the cushion but don't worry about that too much because if you do um, you can just roll forward and play the long blue which is what we're going to do um, so we're going to get it rolling in and coming off the side cushion at about 20 roughly again don't worry if it sticks to the cushion guys the, the shot is almost straight it's not you know obviously the hardest bit about this shot now is, is that not it's not necessarily potting the ball it's actually getting position on the pink so what I try to do is roll all the way forward to play the pink in the middle that I'm closest to so that's what I'm going to try and do I'm going to play at about 40 if worst case scenario I come off two cushions um, we'll see if we get on there you go perfect Perfect. Don't worry about being low on it because the, you know, I know it looks like the white's going to go away from the black, and it is. But what we're going to do is we're going to screw off the side cushion. Um, and hopefully, get the black. So, I reckon thirty will start to bring it back. Well, it might just stun to the right. It's quite far away, so I would tend to be putting this at about thirty-seven. Um, see how see how that comes off the side if it reaches the side cushion. Anyway, doesn't matter if it doesn't. There you go, guys. Perfect. See. That's generally what I think about and, and, and sort of assess when I'm playing my games. Um, there's a couple of shots in there I probably would have missed 50%, um, 60% of the time. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not, I'm not the best at this. Um, but, you know, I hope that helps you guys in understanding the percentages and, and what to look for when you're actually doing your, um, your, you know, your master plus break building. If you've got any comments drop them if you've got any you know if you can leave a like that would be fantastic um if, if you know send me clips of what you do on master shots send me some of your best best um best shots that you've played um and break totals you know what's your highest break on master plus drop it in the comment section guys if you want to see any more on break building let me know if you've got any questions answer uh answer just just drop them in the in the comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as i can um and that's it for this episode guys i'll see you in the next one